Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 7-1 with a 3.80 ERA. And pitching for the A's today is Jim Nash, whose record is 9-7 with a 3.20 ERA. Okay, I know I said yesterday was the most important game of the year, but I was wrong. Today's game is the most important game of the year. We won yesterday, uh, and it was a good victory. We uh, got the lead early, and we held on to it as the A's attempted a late ninth inning comeback. But uh, Marshall shut it down and got the save, and uh, we got the win, which is the most important thing right now. I don't even care how we do it. Give us a balk-off win. I'll take a balk-off win. Anything we can do to win these next two games. And today's game, it really sort of concerned me looking at um, our pitchers here as you take a look at uh, us being six games back. I have a dilemma because I could technically skip John Gelmar and go to Marty Patton. But is Marty Patton any better or worse than John Gelnar? If you look at the numbers, you would think immediately that John Gelnar is a better pitcher. Um, and so, like, we could skip Gelnar, go to Patton, and then have Stevenson start the last game of the series. But uh, I think we just have to stay in step with our five-man rotation and give Gelnar a chance, have a quick hook um, if he is not able to like uh, get through three or four innings and uh, bring in a reliever and try to you know, uh, piecemeal the rest of the bullpen for the rest of the game. I think that's the only thing we can do here. I don't have any extra belief over uh, John Gelnar for Marty Patton. So I think we just go with the flow. We need this win today, and so John Gelnar will get our start. That's the plan. So uh, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Okay, good. Um, just wanted to make sure that I could get uh, the sound of the game recording. Um, I, I have a new project in the works. I expect it to... Uh, come into fruition over the next month, but I had to use my headset for something different, and I wasn't sure that I had it connected uh, properly, uh, but I think it's working, so. Okay, so there's our boy, uh, John Gelnar. Well, the good news is the current A's lineup is batting 176 against him, so uh, that is a good sign, and all of our bullpen is available if we need to go to Dick Bates or Ron Locke out of the pen. Here's our lineup today with a Jim Nash, a right-hander, on the mound. Our problem with our lineup is Patek and Tommy Agee are both listed as tired. And we just got to play them. We, we cannot take them out of the ball game, uh, out of the lineup, with such an important ball game on the line here. So let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for today's ball game. Betting leadoff playing shortstop is Freddie Patek. Batting second in left field is Mike Keegan. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting sixth at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting seventh at second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth and catching is Jerry McNurtney. And batting ninth is the pitcher John Gelnar. Okay, here is Jim Nash. He is making his 26th start. 9-7 with a 320 ERA. 145 strikeouts in 183 innings pitched. Four complete games, two shutouts. Uh, he's a four-pitch pitcher with his fastball rated at 88 and a curveball rated at 80. It tops out at 89 miles an hour, the fastball does. And he is a fly ball pitcher. Because uh, his ground percentage is 29%. I think it's okay to be a fly ball pitcher in, um, at home in the Coliseum. 
Overall, he's an 84 rating. The 24-year-old right-hander goes to free agency next year. Let's uh, take a look here at his log. When was the last time he faced us? Twice. Back on May 26th, he lost. Going eight innings, giving up three runs on eight hits. And on May 3rd, he lost. Going six innings, giving up three runs. So we have a chance against Jim Nash. We've shown we can do it. There's the defense for the A's today. First base and catcher, both below league average. Right around league average. Who's the catcher? Oh, tennis is back in there. Okay. And in fact, the only difference is second base. Instead of Dick Green, it is uh, John Donaldson. Okay. Here we go. We've got uh, Freddie Bontek leading off against Jim Nash. 1-2 count to Pontek. And he goes to right field for a base hit. So, so much for being tired. At least he produced a single. Um, what is the stolen base percentage? 78%. Yes, please. I'll take base. And he steals second fairly easily, as he should. His 11th stolen base as a pilot. He is 11 for 24. Youch. But he steals right when we need it. That's good. Now we've got Mike Keegan up. He can try to salvage his season here. He's down to 234 with eight home runs, and he walks. That's something he does well. That does set up a potential double play. Not a ground ball pitcher, though, right? So you wouldn't think that would be true. Here's uh, Joe Pepitone, first and second. Nobody out. We have a little micro rally going here. 2-1 count, and he hits it deep. Get up, get out. Yes! A three-run home run for Joey Pep. 413 feet, and it's three to nothing, Seattle. I love that. Let's just take the worry away immediately. And Darren Johnson's up. It doesn't get any easier for Nash. Johnson's got given up. Uh, I mean, sorry, Johnson has two home runs against Jim Nash. So uh, this is maybe an advantage for Johnson. Get some good wood on it. Sends it to center field. There's one down. Next up is Tommy Agee. Also a home run against Jim Nash. He nibs it. Popping it up to third. Is out number two. And Rich Rollins. 0-1 count. Rips it to third. Play will be made by Sal Bando. So we get a uh, three-run lead thanks to the home run from Joey Pepitone. That's his sixth on the year. Let's take a look at the A's lineup here. Batting leadoff playing center field is Rick Monday. Batting second in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting third at third base is Sal Bando. Batting cleanup in right field is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting... Sixth at first base is Ramon Webster. Batting seventh at shortstop is Burt Campanaris. Batting eighth at second base is John Donaldson. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jim Nash. Numbers always give me troubles. All right, John Gelnar. He's got a three-run lead. He's making his 13th start, 7-1 uh, with a 3.80 ERA. 51 strikeouts and 71 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 268 against him. Fastball topping out at 91 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 45.2%. Really just a one-pitch pitcher. That is the fastball. Rated an 85. Overall a 76. The 26-year-old righty is arbitration eligible in 1971. Has he faced Oakland yet? Look at his log. He did. He made a relief appearance. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It was a game started. My bad. And it was a no decision. He went five innings, giving up three runs, and he walked three, including a home run there, it looks like. He has not had a decision in his last three starts, and he's only topped six innings once in his last eight starts. So we know we have to keep him to the five to six inning limit 
if he's pitching well anyway. So let's see how he does here. Take a look at the defense. Uh, we do have Kelly at second base today, no Sutherland. So Johnson and McNurtney are our only two batter uh, fielders that are below league average. Okay, Rick Monday leading off versus John Gelnar. 3-2 count, and he strikes him out. That's a good start. One down. Here is Tommy Reynolds. He is wearing the green and gold today. Ground ball, base hit, gets past Patek in the field there. In the center field, it is one down with a runner on first. Sal Bando's up. It's a perfect spot for a double play. Will Reynolds be going here? Nope, it's a comebacker to Gilnar. Can we get the lead runner? Oh, crap. Gelnar throws it away. So those runs will score, and they'll be unearned as Reggie steps in. Oh, he strikes out looking. We might actually get out of it. Will, the, the question is, will he walk tennis here? We're going to pitch to him. We may as well. Either they throw, those runs score on uh, this at bat, or they won't. 2-0 uh, count. And a comeback here. Will he throw this one away? No, oh, he gets him. Okay. Man, with that error, certainly doomed us, I thought. And nope, we go to the top of the second. So that's good news. Okay, 3-0. Here's Van Kelly. Getting more playing time lately. I hit the button. There we go. And a base hit to right. Kelly, despite not having a good average... Has been valuable to us this year. Um, I guess we have to let McNurtney swing away here. Um, with the pitcher spot up next, yeah. Okay, McNurtney, full 3-1 count. Oh, he pulls it to left field. Falls in for a single. And it's first and third, nobody out. We're going to go on contact. With the pitcher up, um, yesterday's starter, Bob Meyer, got a base hit. One-two count to Gilnar. Oh, he does make contact. A high fly ball to the left. Is that Reynolds? Okay, I think we can tag. There we go. We tag and score. Good job by Kelly. Great job by Gelnar getting the ribby. It's four to nothing, and Freddie Patek's up. Started the game with a base hit. Fly ball into right center field. That is catchable. Two down. That will leave up Mike Hegan. Leave it up to Mike Hegan. 1-0 count. And he pops it up. Okay. Let me get a little drink here. I'm feeling a little tongue-tied with this uh, four-run lead. Okay. So, to the bottom of the second inning, and it's the first baseman, Ramon Webster, leading off, as I mentioned yesterday, he's taken over for Ernie Banks, 3-1 count, and he gets a base hit to left. Runner on first, Bert Campanaris is up, we'll pull third base in, I don't think he will bunt, but he has a very good rating, and it's possible. 3-1 count to Burt, and he walks him. So, we have a four-run lead. We can play around a little bit here, but Geldar has already committed an error um, and got out of that jam, and two runners around already. Pitcher spots to do up. We need a double play. It's going to be tough with Campy running, and it's a base at the left. One run will score. It's first and third. Infield in. And this might be the last batter. Okay. He gets Nash. We have to play this like a playoff game. I mean, we cannot afford to lose. One down. Rick Monday is up. 
Um, we just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope for a double play. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, the way that the A's have spaced their lineup with the lefty righties, lefty le righties, that makes it very difficult for me to uh, match up. So I think we have to try for a double play here. I will pull first base in in case it's a ground ball to Johnson. Maybe prevent Campanaris, but other than that, we are at the the will, the hand, hands of fate here. And a ground ball to Johnson! Can't be! That was a double play! We get out of the jam! Wow, I'm a genius. Self-proclaimed. We go to the top of the third. Four to one. And Joey Pep is up. He's got a home run today. Three run shot. Oh, one count. And he scorches it again to center. 360 feet. Unfortunately, it was within reach of Rick Monday. One down. Here is Darren Johnson. Ground ball to short. Two outs for Tommy Ag and Ag swinging at nothing. We go to the bottom of the third inning. I mean, we got to send Geldar back out there. Not looking good. Getting lucky here. Tommy Reynolds. Ground ball to first. Come on, Johnson. Nope. An error. So, I mean, what more can we have happen here in three innings? We've had two errors. Um, I mean, we're getting out of every jam with limited damage, but this just doesn't seem like it's going to go our way today. Well, Johnson will get another shot. Of course, he doesn't go to second with it. So, the likelihood of that run scoring seems pretty good. Here's Reggie. Ground ball to second. Kelly throws him out at first. It will leave it up to Gene Tennis to get that second run in here. First pitch swinging. And a base hit. So it's four to two. Yeah, I mean that was that was pretty much always gonna happen. Now we will guard the lines. Because it's a left-handed batter. It's a little early in the ball game to guard the lines, but I mean we don't have a shift that we can do. I think you gotta play it smart, and he strikes him out, so no impact, but a run does score. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It is four to two. It's a pretty good ball game so far. Other than the two errors by our defense. Base hit up the middle from Rich Rollins to start it off the top of the fourth. Good job by Rollins. We're gonna play a little small ball here. See if Van Kelly can't drop down a bunt. He does. Good bunt to first. Rollins. Safe at second. So, runner in scoring position for McNerty. We'll let him take a cut here. Maybe try to get that run back. Pitcher spots up next. Oh, they're going to walk him. That was a unintentional, intentional walk. You know what? We're going to let Gelnar swing away. Stranger things have happened. 2-2 two -two count. That's all right. Oh, wow. Hard hit ground ball to first. Oh, no! That was the worst possible scenario. I thought him striking out would be all right. I mean, at least we'd have uh, Patek up. But it didn't happen. So, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Galnar's given up runs in the last two innings. Defense has hurt him and helped him at the same time. And he strikes out Campy for out number one. Five strikeouts for Galnar. One out. 
And the base hit in the center field for Johns, uh, Donaldson. Corners in. Nash has got to be laying down a bunt, right? In front of home play, the error number three. No nope, sacrifice is good. All right, well, they will probably get another one right here. Line drive to right. We'll keep them off the board. Both teams playing some small ball. We go to the top of the fifth. Freddie Patek leading off. And he strikes out. Second K for Nash. We've been pretty much shut down since the second inning here. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, and then Pepitone gets a base hit. Six hits for the Pilots. Here is Darren Johnson. Oh, man, that one almost got through. Why aren't they committing errors? Okay, so I will have no problem taking out Gelnar if anything goes wrong here. I'm not sure that I'm going to go to Dick Bates, but depends on the situation. 1-2 count to Reynolds. Jams him inside. Ground ball to Johnson. One out. Okay, here's Sal Bando. Full count to Bando. And that's gone. A 10 pitch at bat. And Bando hits his 15th home run of the year. And that will do it for Gelnar. We're going to bring in Ron Locke. we got two lefties due up. And Locke gets lefties out pretty well. He did give up a home run yesterday to a lefty, though. Let's see how he does here against Red Jay. 3-2 three, three, count. And a base hit to right. So, th yeah, there's nothing we can do now. Like, this is, this is how the game goes. You just got to let it play itself out. There we go. Double play to get out of it. We're going to the top of the sixth inning. We're up four to three. A's keep chipping away. AG flies out to left center field. Rich Rollins. Brown ball to short. Van Kelly. That looks like a base hit. Get down. No. All right, Ron Locke facing Ramon Webster. A little too early to bring in a defensive replacement at first. Probably next inning. Brown ball to second. Well, at least we got the leadoff man out. Here's Burt Campanaris with one down. 2-0 count. And he's laying down a bun for a hit. Oh, wow. That was really, really tricky. I, I commend the game for once. That was unexpected. A good call. It just didn't work out, but I like it. And then a ground ball to short. And we go on to the seventh inning. Nash is coming back out. He's at 74 pitches only. He's been great since the second inning. And a base hit for McNerdy to right field. Leadoff man is on. Out comes Locke. Lou Pinella coming off the bench. We're going to hit and run. Lou will probably go to left field and we'll bring in uh, Hegan to play first. Hit and run is on. McNerty, you better be ready. 1-0 count. And a base hit to left field. McNerty going to third. Good hustle from the catcher. And it is first and third. Nobody out. McNerty will go on contact. 
We'll trade a double play for a run. 1-0 count. A high fly ball to right. Reggie does not have a good arm. We're sending the dirty 50-50. Oh, yes, he's safe at home. I was ready to call him out. And McNerdy going from first to third and scoring on a sack fly to right. That might be good enough to uh, push us over the top today. Okay, that's good. Runner on first, one down. Here's Hegan. Struck out and walked today. Strike it out again. Hegan sucks slightly. Wow. Thank God he can play defense. Here's Pepitone. Two for two today. I'm sorry, two for three today. And he pops it up. Okay. Good job. Let's get our defense right. Yep. Lou. Going to left. Keegan. Going to first. New pitcher. Wait, the pitcher's going to bat? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're going to bring in Diego. And this guy's pitched a lot. I feel like this is a risk. But if he's facing the pitcher... Okay, we'll take it. Let's go. So, defensively improved at first, around the same in left. Here we go. Jim Nash, a comebacker, right to Sagi. He was ready. One down. This is the tough one here. It's Rick Monday. 0 for 3 today. He's having a case of the Mondays. And he strikes out. Good job by Sagi. Two righties coming up here. Tommy Reynolds. 3-1 count. A ground ball to third. Rollins. Yes. We're going to the eighth. Oh, we don't have... And, well, okay, we'll take out Sagi. I'm okay with that. Uh, Bosch. Bosch will come in here. Switch hitter. So he's going to bat left-handed. Only a 216 hitter, but he does have some power against righties. One, two count, and a ground ball off the end of the bat to third. There's one down. Let's take a look at the in game stats. Okay, AG 0 for 3. Some of these players are useless. AG is listed as tired, so maybe we're getting what we deserve with him. Oh, it gives us a base hit anyway. Do we want to go for two? We do not. We can hit and run with Rollins, though. Here we go. AG's on the move. 1-0 count. And a ground ball. Base hit past the shortstop, Campanaris. AG has to hold, though. First and second. One down. Van Kelly's up. Kelly's one for two today. With the sack. Let's see if he can come through in the clutch. Oh, nuts. That blows. I guess we will use uh, Bosch. Move Bosch to center. AG will go to right. Pepitone will grab some bench. Time to bring in Skippy. Do you think Skip Lockwood will skip from the bullpen to the mount? Does that instill fear? Or just like, do you think he's just crazy? Salbando. This is our best possible defense with the exception of um, our catcher. Here we go, Salbando. Leading off, he's got a home run today. Striking and out looking. Pilots pitchers are shutting him down with the K's anyway. One out. Here's Reggie. Reggie is one for three. 
And I still feel like they're going to get a junk run. Ground ball to second. Caleb. Throwing him out. Two down. Here is Gene Tennis. One for three with an RBI. He has not walked today. Something he seems to do a lot against us. He pops it up. Squeeze it, Patek. All right. We are going to the top of the ninth inning. We have a two-run lead. McNerty is leading off. He's two for two today with a walk. That is some very good production from the number eight spot. Well hit, ball to left. It will be caught. One down. Here is Lou. Lou is one for one. Oh, Lou got it! An insurance run! Great job, Lou. 411 feet. Nash put it right in his love zone. His seventh home run as a pilot, his 10th overall this year. Wow, we needed that. I can't believe this. It's not over yet, but we got to feel pretty good about it. Patek walks, almost gets hit. He buzzed the tower, and that's going to do it. They're taking him out. Jim Rowland, he pitched yesterday. He's coming into the game. He's a left-hander. We're going to steal second base. We are going to try to kick them while they're down right here. Keep the pressure on. 76% chance for Patek. He's going first pitch. Oh, come on. The ball was so far low and outside. And he's thrown out. How will that affect the momentum shift? Greatly. Youch. Oh, man. This is what I needed a bench coach to say. Just settle down. Don't send Patek, you dope. Mike Marshall coming into the ball game. 28 saves, four blueies. He did give up a run yesterday. Um, it was meaningless. Will he give up one today? I would not be surprised. It is the bottom of the lineup, though, starting with Webster. A couple lefties do up. Webster first pitch swinging, popping it up on the infield. Carrying to the right field grass where Kelly makes the catch. One down, we're two outs away. Campy popping it up also to Kelly. This one will remain on the dirt. Holy cow, we are one out away here. Man, you know, the past is the past. We blew it on those Royals games. We could be right there. And he strikes out Donaldson to win the ball game. Handshakes, butt slaps, lobby stakes. That's good. Wow. Six to three victory. Let's look at the standings. We're five games back. Minnesota keeps losing. They have a lot of injuries, so that kind of explains it, I guess. Wow, we are five games back. We can be four back by tomorrow. Good call on my part, starting Geldar and taking him out when we did. It's good to have a plan. Baltimore, four games up on Cleveland and the Yanks. St. Louis and New York both just keep winning. That division might be over, though. And San Diego wins again. 35 victories. Can they win 20 more, though? I don't think that's going to happen. They might have the worst record all time. Okay, let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily. <laughs> Nothing. What, did the writers go on strike? We haven't had an um, article in two days. Transactions. All right, what do we have here? So Rick Reichart, who was traded from California to the Pirates, is going to miss the better part of the rest of the season. Perhaps all of it. And uh, he contributed. Eight home runs over there. But he's toast. 
and Chico Garcia. Wow. He played in 1954. He's 44 years old, and he was somehow still active? That is wacky. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. We did do the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay National League East division preview. Um, and that was a lot of fun. It's a long video, but, you know, break it up over into pieces or put on double time. Uh, you know, two exit. Um, man. So we're going to give the player of the game to Joe Pepitone. He had the three-run home run in the first inning, and that was kind of all we needed. Lou Pinella did hit a home run that gave us a little cushion, and that felt nice. Uh, so we're going to give player of the game to Pepitone. The winner is Ron Locke. He goes to 4-1 and one on the year. And Mike Marshall gets his 29th save. The bullpen, they did their job. The bullpen gave up one hit. In four and two-thirds innings and did not walk anyone. Wow. Great job by the bullpen. I didn't I don't think I saw that when it was happening, but that's impressive. Jim Nash takes a loss, he's nine and eight. Okay, that's gonna do it. We're gonna come back tomorrow with game three of the three game series. Feeling good about ourselves. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great day.